Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad to see you. Today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, I am going to be taking a closer look at the new Ingenico contactless pin pad for QuickBooks Point of Sale. By contactless, I mean that's going to include your Google Pay, Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, and uh, some cards also have an NFC chip in them where they can do contactless payments. I'm going to walk through a couple transactions today so you can see kind of how it works and what it does and how to make a contactless payment. And let's get into it. We hit make a sale here. It's going to connect to the pin pad. While that's booting up, don't forget to click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can ask questions, get answers, join a great community with a great dialogue. Some people want to request videos or what have you. We have an awesome set of people over there always helping each other and we look forward to seeing you over there very soon. But let's make a few test transactions in our QuickBooks Point of Sale. Of course I have this pin pad uh, already installed and set up in the settings. I got my merchant account logged in up here. Uh, if you're interested in QuickBooks payments in QuickBooks point of sale and want to do the contactless payments like we're doing here today, go ahead and give me a jingle. Send me a message. I think my phone number is down in the description. Either way, I can have my rep over there in the merchant department uh, go over the rates with you and answer any specific questions you might have. Let's do this. For my first transaction, I'm just going to sell a miscellaneous item. I'm going to do $0.05 because we're just doing a test transaction. And there you have it. Now, on the screen here, I'm going to hit Credit and Authorize Now. And then we will see an amount pop up for $0.05 cents here. And now it is actually ready. So I'm just going to hold my phone over here. There we go, we got the check mark. Now, the next thing is that it wants me to enter my PIN number. So I'm gonna do that now. And now it says authorizing. Authorization is in progress. Queued at the server. And there's the approved authorization. Of course, this is gonna come up and just tell me uh, my receipt. So I'm going to cancel out of that, and then I can save and print or what have you. Okay, for our next transaction, I'm going to add another miscellaneous item, and that is going to be, uh, I think I'm going to do seven cents. There you have it. And I hit credit and authorize now. So we can see on the screen here that the seven cents has showed up on the screen, and I'm just going to use my handy dandy little watch and my watch vibrates and it wants me to enter my pin number and I enter that in it says authorizing queued at the server and approved so there we have that of course we get the receipt again okay I'm going to do our final transaction for the day and I will do another miscellaneous item this time for 10 cents and on this one I am actually going to show you let's see how can I do this uh, hopefully you can see it here but this debit card actually has a little symbol and it's a little wavy symbol which means that it is a contactless debit card and so um, once again I'm gonna hit credit authorize now now the total comes up on the pin pad and it says 10 cents and I'm just going to hold this debit card over it. It wants the pin number for this debit card which I type in and it's authorizing and so there we have the contactless debit card and that is approved. So those are a few different methods of contactless payment using the new Ingenico Lane 5000 with QuickBooks Point of Sale. If you are interested in getting the QuickBooks Point of Sale, give me a call as well. Otherwise, my name is Peter with BlackRock Business. Thank you very much for coming along on this demonstration. You have yourself an excellent day. Bye-bye.